The film begins with the main character showing a girl whose name was Mission. She is 21 years old and she lives with her mother. Now her age was to study and make her career, but at a young age she got married and at the age of 18 she became a mother. Her son was only three years old. It is obvious that because of being a mother, she was not leaving any shortcomings in her son's good upbringing, but because her financial situation was not good, she goes every day to give an interview somewhere. But that poor girl does not get a job at any laundry shop because she does not have any special education, even she did not complete her school. Now like this, one day tired, when she comes back home, she sees that her mother is not at home, but a man is sitting there who is high. But when she sits next to him then the man starts misbehaving with her. Seeing this, her son pushes the man and as soon as he comes forward, the man pushes the child from which he fell far away, injuring the child's head. Seeing this, Michelle is really worried. She takes her son, and goes to the hospital quickly. Seeing the child's injury, the doctor doubted Michelle. She may be torturing her daughter or not taking care of her. That's why the doctor immediately contacts the social worker and she kept the child herself so that she can hand over the child to Michelle after knowing the truth. Now the social worker comes and answers a lot of questions from Michelle after which Michelle tells her a lot, she also begs. That please give me my son. But the social worker says that she can't get it now because neither do you have a job, your financial situation is not good and you have not even protected your son. If you want that you get your son, then you will have to go to court. Now after a few days, we see Michelle with her friend. Knowing her words, she is presented in court next week. Michelle was hopeful that I would get my son and now the day had come when she had to go to court. Now she had come out of the house but she did not know where she had to go. After wandering here and there for a while, she goes to a shop and starts inquiring. At the same shop, Michelle meets a man named Ariel, who tells Michelle to give a lift. Now she could trust Ariel, so she agreed. Because Michelle knew him, he was her friend's dad. Moreover, she didn't even have time to wait. That's why these two sit in Ariel's truck and leave on the way. Ariel tells Michelle that I have some dogs, so why don't you take a dog for your son? But for this, Michelle does not agree because she was getting late. But she also thinks that my son likes dogs a lot. She will be happy, so she agrees. When these two reached out of Ariel's house, there was a dog there, seeing which Michelle did not doubt. But when the two came in, Michelle understood everything that why did he bring me here with the wrong intention because as soon as he came inside, he had closed the door. But now when Michelle realized, it was too late. He holds her and first ties her hands and feet, then puts tape on her face, then ties her whole body with wires and attics it with the roof. Now by tying it painlessly like this, Michelle was in a lot of pain. But even at this time, even in these circumstances, she was thinking about her son that if I don't go to court today then I will never get my son again. That's why she also asks Ariel a lot to please hurt me, but he leaves her in such a state by not listening to her. Now it was evening from morning, but he did not come back. There, because of not coming to Michelle's court, everyone feels that she has run away from her responsibility and deliberately did not come to court. Even her mother feels that once before Michelle neglected and hurt her son. Because her relationship with her mother was also not good. That's why even at night when she did not come back home, no one tried to find her. There, after attaching from the roof for two days, finally Ariel comes and brings her down. She had not eaten anything for two days. She was in a very bad condition. But even in this condition, in the form of a human being, the animal Ariel does wrong with her. Now just at this time, a knock on the door. Ariel went and checked, she was Ariel's mother, who had brought food for her. Now when Ariel was busy talking to her mother and sending her, then Michelle frees herself. But she can't run away from here, because then Ariel came in front of her, who scares her with a gun. Then he started telling her that my family has left me. So now Michelle, you are everything to me. He beats her more, which hurts the poor girl a lot. And now gradually a few years pass. It was Christmas time. Michelle's condition was even worse now. Because even in this cold, Ariel did not keep her in full clothes. He had an animal-like relationship with her. That is, he tied Michelle with a chain. When he wanted to, he did wrong with her. And then he left her in the same condition and went away from there. Now the room in which he had kept Michelle, there was a TV here, and the window and door were locked. Now Ariel knew very well that no one was looking for Michelle. No matter if he dies here, no one would care. But still he had put an alarm on every door and window. One day Michelle gets a chance. Ariel's daughter, that is, Michelle's friend, comes to the house to party with her friends. When Michelle finds out, she hits her chain on the bed and makes noise so that people can hear and find out that she is here. After a while, Ariel puts on music in a loud voice. That's why no one can hear his voice. Now many more days passed like this. 
suffering while being beaten. She was tired, but now it seemed that Michelle was used to this painful life. But she never lost her courage. Now one day Ariel brings her a dog, with which Michelle plays a lot. But when she tries to run away with the dog, Ariel catches her again. He kills the dog in front of her eyes. He then threatens her that if you try to run away now, you will be replaced by a dog next time. Now Ariel was enjoying this dirty game like a game. He had become such a beast that he was used to it. That's why he kidnaps a girl again. This girl's name is Amanda. She was 17 years old. And now he ties them both with a chain and keeps them in separate rooms. But often when they were released, Michelle used to come to Amanda and try to talk to her. But she just keeps crying. Now Michelle sees on TV that the police are looking for Amanda. Along with that, her family, her friends, everyone is appealing to find her as soon as possible. Railways were being taken out for her. Along with that, candles were being lit and prayers were also being made that she should be found as soon as possible. Now seeing this, Michelle thinks that nothing like this was done for me. Now she was feeling bad for Amanda, but somehow this news also hurt her. And now many days pass like this. One day Michelle found out that I was going to be a mother. And when Ariel found out about this, he attacks her back with a heavy dumbbell so that her child does not remain. With this, Michelle had to endure a lot of pain. But Ariel didn't care about it. And now as soon as Michelle's condition improved, Ariel puts her to work. Because he was a carpenter, Michelle had to help him. One day when she was working outside, she sees her neighbor and asks for help. But he was a very old man, so he couldn't understand anything. Now day by day, Michelle's condition is getting worse. She used to get food sometimes, but she had to eat it every day. The biggest thing was that she had faith in God. That even if it is late, I will definitely get out of here. A few days later, when Michelle was watching news on TV, she found out that another girl had disappeared. She was only 14 years old. Seeing this, Michelle just thinks that who knows what must have happened to this girl. And who must have kidnapped her. She had to think that then she would hear someone screaming from this house. The voice was not anyone else's, but Gina's. Now no one had seen Michelle and Amanda coming inside the house. But when Ariel was bringing Gina, she was screaming so much that a neighbor had a doubt. But unfortunately, she couldn't understand where this voice was coming from. Because that's when Ariel turned on the music. Still, that neighbor woman calls the police. She also points to Ariel's house that I have a doubt on that man. But the policeman says that you just have a doubt, not belief. So we can't bother anyone like that on the basis of doubt. That is, Ariel was saved again. Even with this boy Gina, Ariel does the same thing that he has been doing with Michelle and Amanda for so long. From Gina to Michelle, it is known that she is a friend of Ariel's younger daughter. That is, Ariel had gone so crazy that he was not even leaving such small girls. He had fallen so much. Now Ariel used to keep Michelle and Gina in the same room. Both had their hair cut but he always kept Amanda with him. She didn't cut her hair. News starts running on TV for Gina. She was coming in front of her parents' camera and praying for her son to be found. Posters of missing places were also put up everywhere. And Gina, sitting there, was able to see all this. But like an elder sister, Michelle encourages him. She takes care of him. She encourages him. She also teaches him to pray. Now Ariel used to do wrong with Gina in front of Michelle. Stopping him, Michelle says that please don't do wrong with him. You can do it with me. But Ariel tells him that no one loves you. No one is doing anything to find you. No one is waiting for you. So it's not so much fun to do wrong with you. And now a few more days pass like this. And now we see on TV that Amanda's mother has died. That poor girl died crying for her daughter. Now after a few days, he found out that Amanda was going to be a mother. And this time Ariel wanted to keep this child. Now when Michelle was going to be a mother, he killed her and got her child killed. But he wanted this child from Amanda. Thinking this, he was quite surprised that now why did he start loving children? Amanda had a daughter who was very cute. Now at gunpoint, Michelle has to help her in giving birth to a child. Anyway, with time, the child was growing up. Because of this, her mother started giving some importance to Amanda. It means that her life was made better than before. But Michelle and Gina's life was as bad as before. That is, always rotten food, sometimes a chance to take a bath and a little freedom to watch TV etc. Now here Ariel's behavior with Michelle could have been more. He would have given her rotten food for four days. That too after two days. He also used to make her do more work. Now looking at Amanda's daughter, Michelle remembered her son. She thinks that since many years have passed, my son must have grown up now. Every year Michelle was putting her son's birthday card on the wall. So that we know that it has been seven years since he has been living here. 
Now when Amanda's daughter is six years old, Ariel makes a mistake here. He forgets to close the door when he goes out of the house. And this thing is seen by Amanda's daughter, who goes out and tells her mother. And she also shows the open door. Now first of all, Amanda thought that this is definitely Ariel's life. Because he had done this many times before. Amanda thought he was standing outside. But when she went out, she was very surprised and happy to know that he really forgot to close the door today. At the same time, she came out with her daughter and started screaming and asking for help. Hearing her voice, some neighbors came there, who take care of Amanda and her daughter. They also call the police. When they go to check on Ariel's house, Michelle and Gina are also saved. Michelle does not believe that they are free. But when she finds out that it is true, she becomes very happy. And first of all, she asks about her son. But for now, the three of them were sent to the hospital. They were not well and they were in deep shock. Michelle's condition was such that she hated men now. She was not even tolerating male doctors and nurses with her. She starts screaming. Now Amanda and Gina's family come to meet her immediately. Their whole support was given. The family was supporting a lot. But apart from supporting Michelle, no one even comes to meet her. After coming out of the hospital, she found out that when my son was four years old, he was adopted by a good family. And now that family does not want the child to know about their real mother Michelle. Now Michelle was given a house to stay by the government. Security and all facilities were also given. She then goes to court and tells everything about her life. She asks for justice and says that Ariel should be given a severe punishment. Now it was found that Ariel was given a thousand years of punishment. But after spending a month in jail, she took her life. Because what she did, she was getting her severe punishment in jail. Which she could not bear. While the three of them, Michelle, Amanda and Gina move forward with a new life. And with this, this movie also ends here.